Welcome, everyone, to episode three of Trend Talks Threat Research. I'm your host, John Clay, VP of Threat Intelligence here at Trend Micro. And the idea behind this podcast and, and blog is to give you an understanding of some of the Trend Micro research that we've published over the last several weeks, uh, kind of give you a digest so that you can identify which ones you might be most interested to see. Uh, so let's kind of get into this one. Um, the first one I wanted to talk about is a uh, article about steering clear of security blind spots within the SOC. So if you're running a SOC inside your organization, we give you some research uh, statistics found in some surveys we've done on some of the challenges that SOCs have over the years, um, but also give you some insights and recommendations on how to steer clear of some of those blind spots that may be targeting your SOC. So it's a good article, it gives some, it has an interactive uh, image that you can click on to show you some of those blind spots. Uh, so it, again, if you have a SOC, I'd recommend checking this out. Also, I will have the links to these inside the show notes so you can get access directly to those. The second one I wanted to highlight is, uh, we posted a new ransomware spotlight article. Um, if you're not familiar, we've done sp uh, ransomware spotlights. You can go to www.trendmicro.com slash ransomware spotlight, all one word, get access to all of those. This one looks at the uh, group called Trigona uh, ransomware group. They emerged in October of 2022. And in I April of this year, they actually started targeting Microsoft SQL servers as part of their attack. So if you're running SQL server inside your organization, you might want to take a look at this. Um, some of the initial access seems to be coming from a uh, patched vulnerability, CVE 2021-40539, which is a bug in the Zoho Manage Engine AD Self Serve Plus uh, version 6113 and earlier. According to their leak site, they target the majority of time in, uh, businesses in North America. Uh, they look at small business, medium-sized business, even large businesses. So they're across the scale there. Uh, they also look at different industries, mostly focusing on finance, manufacturing, hospitality, and construction. So if any of those things apply to you, you might want to take a look at this. We'll give you all the information about their attack. Uh, how they do it, what they use, what tools they use. Also, we map out the MITRE attack framework to it. Another piece of research that we published was a, um, a research on a multitude of info stealers. We took a deep dive into this, looking at the data that they steal and then how they sell that uh, data within the underground markets. So it's a very data-driven analysis, and it's quite interesting to view how these um, criminals utilize this data and sell your data uh, within those underground markets. Uh, so if, again, if you're interested in some information about how the underground markets work, how they manage data, how they steal data, and then how do they sell data, it's probably a good article to take a look at. Another one is if you're running Kubernetes inside your organization, you really want to take a look at this next piece of research. Uh, it's from our cloud researchers. We have a group of group of, of folks that all they analyze are attacks on the cloud and all the different aspects of the cloud. And this one, they're looking on how to properly perform threat modeling within this environment. So if you want to look at how could you do some threat modeling inside a Kubernetes environment, you want to take a look at this piece of research. Included is, is are the MITRE attack tactics and techniques um, used in, in container attacks. So if you're using containers as well, be a good one to check out. Another one we publish is a proof of concept a rootkit and malware used by cyber criminals in conjunction with the Berkeley packet filtering, that's BPF, Berkeley packet filtering, which is a piece of technology uh, that allows programs to execute code in the operating system. So Linux, BSD, and soon it'll be in Windows as well. Uh, so if, uh, and, and we show um, in the, they're very popular in cloud uh, platforms. We also show how to detect these threats. Um, these are new proof of concepts. So understand this is probably a future looking threat. Uh, but if you're interested in that type of information and you're running Linux, you're running Windows, 
um, and you you look you know anything about Berkeley packet filtering, you might want to take a look at this piece of research. Really good to check out. And then the last one I wanted to highlight is we examine the automotive data ecosystem and take a closer look at privacy and security concerns arising from how data is generated, uh, consumed, and transmitted by connected vehicles. So as you can see, the Trendmaker research is pretty broad. We look at many different areas of, of the uh, attack landscape or attack surface. Uh, and, and since obviously those are expanding within your organizations, you probably want to take a look at these researchers. Hopefully some of these are, are interesting to you. Um, thanks for joining me in episode three of Trend Talks Threat Research. I'll be back in two weeks. And, uh, and in that one, I'm going to go into a deeper dive into a specific piece of research that we've published. Um, but thanks for joining and feel free to give this a like as well as uh, add a comment or two. I'd love to hear from you. Hopefully everybody has a great day. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.